Hi feed buddies and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kelly Preps Their Studio. My name is Kelly. Hi if you're new. Today, as you guys might have read from the title down below, I am going to be sharing with you guys a huge Joanne fabric speed haul. I am seriously so excited. I popped over there earlier this week with my husband John and I know, I know, we forgot to vlog. I know you guys love our shopping videos. I really wasn't planning on buying anything besides this really boring organizer, which I'm going to show you guys, but it's not super boring. They have really nice organization pieces and this is what I keep all of my products in and I needed another one because the business is growing which is so exciting but we ended up getting a huge deal on a string bead. They were all 50% off so I'm seriously so excited to share them with you guys. I thought after I show them to you we could maybe make some bracelets as well so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hit that subscribe button. Join our Bead Buddies family. We are on the road to 100k. That is the goal so I would love to have you be a part of my journey and be a part of our community, the Bead Buddies. At the end of every video I do a comment of the day so be sure to include the hashtag Bead buddies in your comment down below and let's get right into the haul because I am so excited to show you guys what I bought. Okay like I mentioned I really went in there for this super nice organizing container and why I like this one specifically so much is it has little dividers in it. This was 50% off it usually goes for $43 I believe no, $46 and I got it for $23. So I have mine over there it's on top of my printer but it is filled to the brim it barely closes anymore. My bead buddy bracelet my European bracelet phone charms in here then I put all of my earrings on this side and then this lifts up and it organizes into three different compartments and I'll do clay glass and just bead it bracelets and as you guys can imagine it filled up pretty quickly so I needed another one and I really like this one like I said earlier it keeps it airtight which really makes my jewelry last a lot longer so I really really like this and I just like that it's the same one that I already have now on to my favorite part of these videos of course we needed some of my favorite elastic. This is the Stretch Magic 0.5 millimeter. I use this all the time. And I just did a video where I made 50 bracelets in one hour. If you guys want to go check that out, definitely go check it out. But I'm running out of this. So I was like, we need this. And it was the last one there. So it was like meant to be. Then you guys, I just went a little crazy. Oh my gosh, something's falling off. Okay, this one's the pearls fell off. They're in the bag, but these are so gorgeous. Okay, I believe these are fresh water pearls. Again, all of them were 50% off. The pearls are in the bag, so we're just gonna put that over there right now. Then I bought these glass beads. These are kind of different for me. I kind of thought they were like disco-y, fun. I'm just getting a different aesthetic with these, and I was like, why not try them? I've always wanted to buy them. And then along with that, I also bought two of these. They're kind of similar. They're like a clay bead but they're round and they have like different prints on them and I just feel like these are so preppy so fun and I love them for spring and I can't wait to make some bracelets out of them then of course we had to buy another one of these flower beads you guys know I'm in my coconut girl era and I think these are so cute and so fun for the summer another fun shell clay combo are these now I did go on and on about this strand of beads in my last I believe it was like a live stream and I made it into a bracelet it was in my last launch and it sold out right away. I totally got gypped. Last time I didn't get the blue clay beads with it, but it's a two pack, which was so awesome. Then I got this gorgeous three pack of pink glass beads. So they have like a square, a mini little bicone type bead, then these huge glass beads that are way bigger than my usual ones. But look how shiny these look on camera. They're absolutely beautiful. Of course, I had to restock some of my blue disco balls. These are some of my most popular bracelets on my site. They're called the Celebration Bracelet and they're so cute and I found them in blue and you guys sold them out so quickly. You know me always thinking a few seasons ahead I had to get some of these super cute Halloween glass charms. I've never seen these and my biggest tip to small businesses think ahead because those sell out in October all the time. I found some more disco balls. These are like holographic which are so pretty and so cute and so sparkly and then I have another strand of the blue disco balls. You guys you just know I love anything sparkly and and then I found some more of these and I was thinking about doing a disco groovy bracelet line. I feel like that would be really fun for our next launch. So these are just in different sizes and I think they're so cute. Here's my receipt. I ended up spending... 
I ended up spending $84, but I feel like that was pretty good because you have to remember I got the box as well and the elastic is like 20 bucks, but let's make some bracelets. Okay, I lined them up just in case you guys couldn't see them well the first time. I did pour the little pearls in here because again, it broke, but aren't they just so cute and so sparkly? I think for this video, I want to make a few of them. I really want to make one of these because I feel like this is so unique and so different and maybe we can do the glass version as well. And then of course, do a disco ball. I feel like this is going to be so much fun. So I'm going to put these in my drawer. If you guys have seen my desk organization video, you know I just keep strings of them in here. This is my business. So I do buy a lot of beads, but I sell a lot of bracelets. We're going to get our elastic out. Like I mentioned, I'm almost out of this. So I'm so happy I was able to restock. And we're also going to need my tray. This is how I measure all of my bracelets. It is seven inches across. And then of course, we are going to need some scissors. These are just my little kid scissors. And I don't think we're gonna need any pearls today, but I'm so excited. So we're gonna make some bracelets. We're gonna put some fun music in the background. And I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. I also mentioned how I've been listening to this Lover album from Taylor Swift like crazy. It's so good. This has such an eclectic like vintage look to it that I absolutely love it. I love this one bead in particular that's like light blue and clear. It reminds me of marbles as well. So it's super cute. I think we're gonna make this one next and I was thinking we could pull out my letter beads and make it say like XOXO or something. I feel like something cute like that would be really fun and kind of preppy. Let's get the letter beads out. with dream instead of xoxo i feel like that's so cute with this like little pretty pattern i think as a small business owner we have to dream big and i threaded my needle this is my bead spinner needle but it really does help speed up making bracelets and i'm just using my 0.5 millimeter of stretch elastic so i'm going to put the letters on first because they do have a wider hole so it's easier to hide the knot underneath the letter beads than these beads as a little helpful tip I might have to be selfish and keep one of these for myself because this is so cute. I was thinking about it when I was making it. I feel like these beads low-key kind of remind me of like Lily Pulitzer prints. They're so cute, so fun, perfect for spring. And I think that one turned out so cute. So now we are going to make our blue disco ball bracelet. I think this is gonna be so fun and so sparkly.
gosh, this one turned out so cute as well. This was in my most recent launch and it sold out. But let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. Again, I think I'm a sucker for this one. I'm definitely going to be wearing this for a while. I think it's so cute. And don't forget to use our hashtag bead buddies in the comments down below. I'm putting it on. It's too cute not to wear. I absolutely love it. But let me know in the comments down below which bracelet is your favorite. I feel like they turned out so cute. If you want to go check out Joanne Fabrics, just remember everything was 50% off. I think it was such a steal. We got so many new beads and that crazy awesome organizer and some of my favorite elastic. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to use our hashtag bead buddies in the comments down below which speaking of here is today's comment of the day. Thank you so much for leaving such a kind and positive comment on my channel. It seriously means the world to me and I'm so happy to have you be a part of our bead buddy family. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button so you can be a bead buddy member as well. I love 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 you guys so much. I hope you're having a fantastic fantastic day and I'll see you guys back here very soon with another new YouTube video. Bye bee buddies!